Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 pre-orders to get this weekend. We have a lot to talk about. A lot. So, and I gotta break stuff down for you, so stay tuned. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, as I was saying, we got a lot to talk about um, for pre-orders this weekend. It's getting close to the end of the year, crazy enough. So, books are, release dates are like November 28th, December 5th, December 13th, December 27th, like skips, and January. So, I'm going to tell you which ones are which so you know when you're ordering if you don't want to put them together because if you put them together they're going to take forever to get to you and i'm going to go through all that there's just a bunch of stuff so let's get right to covers okay guys as always you can always order from me at economicsandcomics.com if you want um get your pre-orders in this weekend starting now let's do some covers first of all action comics 1059 as a good read Cover C is Carla Cohen, which is sick. Batman number five, the Fax Edition foil. Batman 404, Fax Edition. Uh, new Batman 89 starting up, Echoes number one. Here's cover A. And here's the uh, cover C, McFarlane toy cover. Batman Gargoyle of Gotham number one, second printing. That's actually pretty cool. Birds of Prey, number four, cover C by Schwabi. And cover D by Kamunaki. Sun K. Detective Comics 1078, the 1 in 25 card stock. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of hot. Fire and Ice, welcome to Smallville, number four, the uh, B. Talaski card stock. There's a book called Guma, Beginning of Her, number one. It's a foil Sozo cover. Um, that was Jay Hung Lee's personal book, and for some reason they're selling it that cover on Diamond this weekend. Um, it might it might move. I don't know. It's interesting. Cool cover. Harley Quinn 34, cover B by Jenny Frizen. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 13, Peach Momo. Nightmare variants, pretty sick. Could be something in that book. Poison Ivy, number 17, cover B by David Nakayama is sick. Master of the Universe, Forge of Destiny, number 4, cover C. Marvel Zombies, Black, White, and Blood, number 3, the 50 copy She Hulk homage. I bet that's going to be fire. Savage Red Sonia number two, the Panosian cover. There's a bunch of covers for that, but I just wanted to show you that. Something is Killing the Children, number 35, cover B and cover C, connect. Spider Boy, number one, second printing. And Stuff of Nightmares, Sleigh Ride, number one, cover E, is a glow in the dark frizzin. Transformers is coming out again, number three. And White Widow, number two, cover A is Butter. Now, all those books, the majority of those books, will come out any time between 11.28 and 12.13. So there's like a two-week window right there. Most of the DC and Diamond stuff comes out around 11.28, but all the rest comes out 12.6 and 12.13. Now, that being said... One of the distillery books, Blasphemous, number one, come, by Mirka and Dolfo, comes out 1220. That's a magazine-sized book. Here's cover A. And there is a cover F, Art Germ, which I think people are going to buy. Also, December 27th comes out two books, Wolverine, number one, the Fax foil cover. And Deadly Hands of Kung Fu Gang War, number one. There, here's a regular cover, and here's the Ben Su foil cover. Both those books come out 1227. Now, just so you know, at my store, anything that's like 1213, 1227, 
I put at the end of the description so you know and if you don't want to if you want to do separate orders because you know they're going to you know you want your books to come every week then you can move them around accordingly to dates but the normal release dates for this FOC is anywhere from 1128 to 1213 that's the normal stuff there is one other book coming out January 3rd and that book is Vengeance of Moon Knight there is a, a Cappuccio foil as well now uh, we're going to talk about Moon Knight in a minute but this Vengeance of Moon Knight is like Moon Knight 30 ends and then it goes to this Vengeance of Moon Knight which starts in January which could be a new Moon Knight okay all right, now that that's been said and done, everything else I'm going to talk about is in the normal window between 11.28 and uh, 12.13, okay? First of all, a new book called Titans Beast World number one is coming out, cover B by Barons. There's an art germ cover. And there is a lenticular now, if you guys remember, you, about five years ago, lenticulars, six years ago, lenticulars were all over the place. You know how we have foils now everywhere? Lenticular could be the new foil now for next year. That being said, I might be one of the only people that's going to tell you this. It's not guaranteed, which means it could be allocated. On my site, I'm going to put not guaranteed. If you want to order it and you get it, you get it. But you might not, and you will get refunded. You can, I can pretty much promise you, you look anywhere else, they're just going to sell it. So at least I'm being honest with you. I hope that they don't allocate it. There's one more book this week that's like that that we're going to talk about. Uh, but I just want to let you know. Batman Beyond Neo Gothic number five is coming out. It talks about um, the garden. And I think that character already existed, but I wanted to point it out. Shazam number six is coming out and the first appearance of Shazamite is coming out. It's kind of stupid. And also Star Wars High Republic Shadows of Starlight number three is coming out and that that's good. There's probably going to be a key in there. Okay, now top ten. Here we go. Number ten is Power Girl number three. I'm showing you the cover C. March. Possible first appearance of Symbio. That character was like... It, basically like a symbiote um, kind of cameoed in another issue so it's possible whatever it is is going to be if first full in this book number nine is Captain America number four here's the regular cover and here's the peach momoko variant the uh, the description says the enemy strikes who or what is the emissary now I remember the emissary for something else but this could be different this this could be a different character so keep your eyes out on that number eight immortal Thor number five it says the all-new Thor corpse first appearance number seven is daredevil gang war number one the regular cover here's the Aka Electra cover which is buttery it says a dangerous new gang the heat Number six is Moon Knight number 30. We were just talking about that. I'm specifically showing you the Alessandro Cappuccio foreshadow variant, which shows the character from the Vengeance book we talked about coming out in January. So this is the last issue. We'll see. Possible first appearance of that character. Number five is Punisher number two. Uh, it says something about the crime lord known as the Offer and super villains and stuff like that i haven't read number one yet it's not out yet but hopefully it's good number two will be good too number four is star wars high republic adventures phase three cover well i'm showing you cover a this is a whole new thing dark horse for you high republic people there you go phase three of high republic adventures okay number three is a little bit of a big one because i put multiple comics in it so here it goes Batman City of Madness number two. I'm showing you the Bill Sinkovich variant. That book was good. It's magazine sized. It's probably going to be really good. As well as Batman Gargoyle of Gotham number two. I'm showing you cover A, 
which is sick. That story was really good. Possible first appearances in that as well. It's a big Batman week. And Batman 140. Here's cover A. Here's the Finch cover. The Cho cover. The Schmidt Santa. And the Foil Dark Knight Returns, which I bet will look sick foiled. Um, basically, Batman vs. Joker, guys. Number two, for me, is one of the best reads out right now. Penguin number four. He's built his whole team. He's getting his last piece of the team in this issue. I'm number one, and I'm going to tell you why it's number one in a minute. Not because I care at all about this book. Batman, Santa Claus, Silent Night, number one. I want to show you two covers first. The Derek Chu and the Otto Schmidt. I literally do not care about this book at all, except for this cover right here. And this is why it's number one. The Ben Oliver Rub and Smell cover. Whatever that means, whether it smells like uh, pine cones or peppermint or whatever, that comic cover is going to be hot. Now, let me tell you why. On, D on Lunar, it says allocations may happen which means it's not guaranteed. I could order 100 and get 10, or I could order 100 and get 100. So, no one else is gonna tell you this, but as of right now, it is not guaranteed that you're gonna get it. Now, if it does become allocated, first of all, that'll be rare and worth more. If it doesn't get allocated, it's still gonna be hot because it's like a scratch and sniff and it's a sick ass cover. On my site, I'm selling it at a cover price, and I'm putting on there, not guaranteed. So, our fingers crossed is, it is guaranteed, but at least you know I will refund you if you can't get it, and I will do everything I can to get it. But that will be the cover of the week, and probably the hot book of the week. Right? Because of that cover. I don't know what else to say, except I hope that Lunar changes it. They've done it before. They said allocations might happen, and then they change it, and it says order all you want. So we'll see, but right now it says allocated. I don't care. I'm going to sell it anyway because I think everyone's going to want it, and hopefully I can get it for all of you guys. As I said before, it's a crazy week. Please look at the release dates and buy accordingly, but all these books are only available this weekend for pre-order. And again, please come by my store, economicsandcomics.com. They're ready for you now. We will see you on the sick side. See ya.